Hi, I'm Keith St. Ange, two-time world overall champion, and welcome to the World Barefoot Center Ski School in Winter Haven, Florida. I'm going to show you some new school instructions so you can learn the right way and safe way right from the very beginning. You might wonder why I'm sitting in the dock. Well, I'm going to teach you the back deep water start. Now, a lot of people are pretty intimidated by this start. When they first learn how to barefoot water ski forward, they think that's all they can really do. But it's very, very important to start the back deep water start early in your, in your skiing. Mostly because, and not because it's hard, but there's a lot of steps involved. You have a list of 20 things that you have to go over. So it's good to start off early and do it one step at a time. So I'm going to show you how to get your feet, or I should say one foot at a time, gliding in the water. So with the rope on the boom, what you're going to do is lie, lie back on your back in the water. You're going to hook one of your feet up underneath the rope, like so, and grab the handle from behind, just like this. Get this foot, the free foot, nice and close to the other one. As you roll over, okay, just think about leading with this knee, the one that's on the rope, lead with the knee and roll over to your belly. When you roll over to your belly, make sure your chin is away from your chest, the handle is completely out and straight, and so is your legs, okay, and you're nice and stiff and straight. Now, once you're gliding here, and the boat driver should go between, between 10 and 12 miles an hour. So not too fast, just enough so the skier does not porpoise or start bouncing in the water. If the skier does start to porpoise, pull the boat speed back a little bit and, and take it a little slower. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to take one foot and put it in the water first. So you're going to take your free foot and bring it out as far as possible. When you bring this leg out, the leg will be straight. You're going to bring the foot out as far as you possibly can and pull the toes back to your kneecap. And you're just going to go out there and feel that water, the surface of the water, gently with your toes and then let the rest of your foot go into it and let it glide. Now, make sure you let the water push your foot back. Let, your, let the water push your leg back, okay, and relax that ankle. A lot of people like to point their toes. We call it the ballerina or the gas pedaling. We don't want to do either one of those things, okay, because if you do, you're going to put your foot in the water and it's going to go through the water like a spear. We don't want that. We want the foot to glide like a little wakeboard on the water. So pull the toes back, lay back as far as you can, bring it down gently into the water. Let the water push your leg wide. Let the water push your toes back and just let it glide. So the position is going to be like this. Chin away from the chest, arms out, leg wide, relaxing that ankle, and just understanding how to let the foot glide in the water. Now once you do this side, we'll say 15, 20, 30 seconds, go ahead and take it out of the water, put it on the rope, and go ahead and work on the other side. So again, far, far out, pull the toes back to the kneecap, and then slowly bring that foot into the water and let it glide, okay? If that foot starts jumping and bouncing all over the place, most likely you're pushing your toes and pointing your toes forward, which will make that foot jump. Pull the toes back, relax, let it glide as wide as you can. So there you go. That's gonna be the beginning of the back deep water start. Just learning how to let each foot glide in the water comfortably so you can learn that. So good luck with those first couple steps. Once you can get one foot at a time going back and forth, back and forth, then you're going to be ready for two feet.